Aquadata Studio Query Builder, creating complex SQL statements and queries without typing statements. To launch the Query Builder, select the database from the schema browser and click on the Query Builder icon in the toolbar. When the Query Builder launches, the Add Table dialog appears. We'll add a few tables. Notice that behind this dialog, table objects are appearing as we add them. To create a join, we simply drag a column from one table onto the column of another table. Left-click the Join icon to select it, then right-click for options to select all rows. We alter the Join type by altering the Select All Rows choices. The SQL changes, as does the Join icon. Double-clicking the Join icon allows editing its properties further, changing the icon. We can select filters for our table joins. We'll select Auto Join on Foreign Key and add another table. Here we're adding the Order Details table. We'll modify this join by double-clicking its icon. To add columns to the query, we'll place a check mark next to them in the table entities. Bold text indicates a primary key column. Notice the columns being included in the query being built as we check them. We can expand the panes for a better view. Italics indicate the column participates in an index. We'll choose to show indexes to display more information. Indexes and index columns display now in the Index Assistant. The Index Assistant shows index sequences to help us optimize criteria. We can select operators and modify them in the Operator column by typing or with a drop-down menu. Then we can enter criteria for the operator. Here we see the operator and criteria in our query. We'll execute this query to display the results. We'll quick filter these results as we would in the grid results of the query analyzer. Here we see the number displayed with the filter. We'll resize these panes for a different view. Next, we'll disable Quick Criteria Mode in the Window menu to create a more complex query. Each OR column in the Columns pane defines additional criteria. We'll return to Quick Criteria Mode. We can enter an operator directly or choose it from a drop-down. If we execute edit, the table data editor will launch. Before it does, we must specify the table columns on the two joined tables in our query in this dialog. The table data editor has tabs for each of the primary keys of the tables. We can edit and then save these changes to the data. We'll discard these changes. The Query Builder has a few options for filtering a built query. If we change filters, we immediately see changes in the query. The Query Builder also allows you to write Group By queries. From the menu, select Query, Group By.
We'll clear these from the pane to make room for our group by example. We'll group by with company name. And we'll get the sum of records per company. Our query contains the group by statements needed to get the sum per company. We'll execute to see our results. Next, we'll hide the group by. And we'll clear it from the pane. We can insert a column in the columns pane by right-clicking in the row numbers and inserting. We get a drop-down of columns by clicking in the column cell. We'll add an alias in the alias column. Our query shows the alias. Executing shows our alias as a column in the grid results. It's possible to add a shortcut to frequently use tables in the query builder. We have show table shortcuts enabled in the toolbar. We'll remove this one to add our own. Right-click in the title of a table entity to add a shortcut for it in the toolbar. Right-click to set its properties and give it a keystroke. The keystroke or clicking on the icon adds the table to the query builder. Queries written in the Query Builder can be saved as .xqb files for reuse. 